Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perik Shlishi, Daf Chaf Hei Amud Aleph, Chapter 3, Page 25a. I'm just going to begin from the bottom of the, the bottom line of the previous page. Tanya Nami Hachi was also taught in a Baraisa, Hai Tatalito, Shel Beke Veshel O Veshel Sak, Chagura Al Matznav. If one's cloak of cloth, leather, leather or sackcloth was girded around his hips, Mutali Prokriya Shma, he is permitted to recite the Shma. Now the top of page 25a. Abalit Fila, but for prayer, Ad Shekha Sedli Boch, until he covers his heart, that is, he's not clothed until he covers uh, the top half of his body as well. Rama Ravuna, Ravuna said, Shachat Benichnas Betfili and Levetha Kisa, if you've forgotten, enter the toilet with tefillin on in order to do number two. Maniach yedo alehen ad shigmor. He should place his hand over the tefillin until he finishes. Ad shigmor salka datach doesn't enter your mind until he he finishes. That he should stay there in the toilet? Of course not. Ela kidama rav nachman bar yitzchak. Rather, it is as rav, rav nachman bar yitzchak said. Ad shigmor hamod rishon. Until he completes his first dis- discharge, the lift sock, the sorry, the lift sock, lift sock, the altar, the lekum, but let him interrupt immediately and, and get out of there and get up. Mishum de Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel, on account of the teaching of Rabban Shimon Gamliel, the Tanya was taught in a brisa. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Amir. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel said, Amud ha chazem meviet ha dam hid rokan. A forced back discharge brings a person to suffer from what's called dropsy. So, um, in other words, number two goes back up again. Silon ha chazem meviet ha dam lidei And forcing back uh, the urine uh, into the uh, into the urethra, it brings a person to suffer jaundice. Yitzma, it has been stated, so ah al besaro is excrement on one's flesh, or yado munachad bevetagise, or one's hand is resting in a latrine in a toilet. Ravhuna ama Ravhuna said, Motali kriashma, he's permitted to say shma. Rachista ama Rachista said, Asoli kriashma, he's forbidden to recite shma. Amar Rava, Rava said, "My Tama de Rav Huna. What is Rav Huna's reason for the leniency? Dichtiv for its written. Kol haNeshma Tehalo Ya. That is from uh, Tehillim. Uh, which one? From uh, one hundred and fifty-six. One hundred and fifty verse six. All that Kol haNeshma Tehalo Ya. All that breathe shall praise God." The Rachista Amar Rachista said, "Asul Likrokriya Shema." He's forbidden to recite Shema if there is um, number two in his hand, or his hand is inside the to- inside a toilet. May Tama de Rachista. What is Rachista's reason? Dirti for its written. Kolat Matay Tomana Hashem Mi Chamocha. All my limbs, all my limbs shall exclaim, "God, who is like you?" This is also from uh, Tehillim. Uh, 35 verse 10. <clears throat> it's my, it has been stated, Reach Ra Sheyesh Lo a putrid odor that comes from a, uh, a material source. Rav Huna, Ma Rav Huna said, Marchi Karba Amot Vekorekriyashma, you only need to distance yourself for Amot from the source of the odor and then recite Shema. Rachista, Ma Rachista said, Machika ba'a arba amot mima kom shepasa kareach vekorea kriyashma. One must distance four amot from the place where the odor has, uh, has come from, and then he can say the shma. Tanya, kavate de rachista, was taught in a brace in accordance with rachista. Loikra dam kriyashma, one should not recite shma in unclean areas. Lo keneged tsa'at adam, not opposite human excrement. The lo keneged tsa'at kalavim, not opposite dog excrement. Lo keneged tsa'at chazirim, not opposite uh, pig excrement. The lo keneged tsa'at tarnagolim, not opposite chicken excrement. The lo keneged ashba, uh, shrecha ra, not opposite a trash heap, uh, the odor of which is putrid. Pi'im haya makom gavoh harasa 
And if any um, of the above was in a place ten tachim high, that is higher than where you're standing, or namachasar tachim, or ten tachim lower than where you're standing, yoshev betzid betzido vekorek riashma, you can sit alongside that place and say the shma, because the uh, the excrement is considered to be in a separate area. The in love, uh, and if it's not, that if it's not ten tachim above or below. Mark Einav, he must distance himself from within eyesight, and then say Shema. Vechen Letila, and so uh, also for Shmonesre, for Tila. Reach Rashi Eshloikar, a putrid odor that comes from a source. Markik Arba Amot, Min Kom Harech, Bekorek Riachma. One must distance for uh, yourself for Amot from the place where the order comes from, and then say Shema. Amarava, Lethil Khatakiha Matnita, the law is not in accord with this Baraisa, E la Kiha Titanya, but with it, another Baraisa, Loi Kra Dam Kriachma, one should not recite Shma in unclean areas, Lo Kenegat So Atadam, not opposite human excrement, the Lo Kenegat So Ad Khazirim, not opposite pig excrement, the Lo Kenegat So Ad Klavim, not opposite dog excrement, Vizman Shnatan Orot Letochan, uh, and these uh, these prohibitions apply uh, when uh, it's in an area where you are doing tanning of skins. Uh, so, in other words, you take the heart of an animal and you tan it in excrement. Ba'u mine merav sheshet ben kwarav rav sheshet reach rav she'ein lo ikamahu. So, what's the law about a putrid odor that does not have a tangible source? Uh, that it, that would be a um, passing guess. Amalehu Rav Sheshet said to them, Atu Chazu Hanei Tifei Tivei Rav, come and see these mats at the study hall. So the mats uh, were mats upon which the student, students sat and learned. The Hanei Ganu Vehanei Gasi, and while these students are sleeping, others are allowed to study Torah. <clears throat> so, in other words, um, the ones who were dozing would pass gas while they were asleep, and yet the others were allowed to study Torah in their presence. Torah, and this ruling applies to Torah study of the Kriyachma law, but not to recital of Shema, Nami, and words of Torah as well, Lo Amran. Amaran Ela Dechavre. We have stated that such leniency only for uh, the case of one's fellow, one, uh, your fellow's uh, passing guest, aval dite law, however, for one's own passing guest, even Torah study is not allowed. So we're just going to scroll down. We're about halfway down on the right. We just finished the word law, and then there's two dots. So now we're at the top of the page, top of the screen, uh, where it starts with the word Itmar, um, halfway down on the right, the two dots. Itmar to'ar overet, so passing, um, passing excrement. Abaye Amar, Abaye said, Mutali Krakriya Shma, one is permitted to recite Shma. Rava Amar, Rava said, Asuli Krakriachma, one is forbidden to recite Shma. Amara Baye, Baye said, Mena Minala, from where do I know to say this? Titnan, it is as we learned in a Mishnah, Hatame Omed Tachat Ha'ilan, if a Tame person is standing under a tree, Hatahor Over, and a Tahor person passes under a tree. Tame, so the second person is Tame. Tahor omed tachatailan, if a tahor person is standing under the tree, the tame over, and a tame person passes underneath, tahor, the former, the former person, the tahor, remains tahor. The im amad, if a tame person is standing under a tree, 
sorry, if the tummy person, um, if the tummy person stand, stops and stands under a tree, tummy, the other one becomes tummy. And so this is the case of a stone, that is someone carrying a stone, uh, which was from a house that can, that had saras. I'll just read this. If the carrier of the stone is standing under a tree, Tuma is transferred from the stone to anyone passing under the tree. But if the carrier is passing under the tree, the stone does not transmit Tuma. So with that, a, pers a moving person or object is not legally regarded as being present in any location. And therefore, he's permitted to recite Shema while excrement is passing in front of him. Barava Malach, Barava could tell you, Hatam Bikvi Uta, Talia Milta, they're the matter of transmitting Saras Tuma. It's dependent on the permanence of the source. Dirtiv as it's written, but that is Shem Chutzlamachane Mushavo. He shall dwell in isolation, his dwelling shall be outside the camp. That is from Vaikra 13, verse 46. Hacha, Bahaya, Machanecha Kadosh Amarach Mana. Here the merciful one said, and your camp shall be holy. Bahaleka. And for this, uh, even though it's passing excrement, there is no holiness uh, uh, in the for Amot of a person uh, in order to say Shema. Amarach Papa, Rav Papa said, Pichazir, the mouth of a hog, Ketoao, Veretame, is like passing. Um, is like passing excrement. Pshita, this is obvious because excrement is always found on the mouth of a, of a pig. Lotsricha afal gav de salik minhara minahara. So it's not necessary, um, even though the pig has just uh, come from a river. Uh, which means that even if it's just come from a river, it's still considered as, as if it has excrement on its mouth. Ama Rabbi Yoda, Rabbi Yoda said, Safek Sura, so possible excrement is, uh, that is nearby you is prohibited, and you're not allowed to say Shema there. Safek me Raglai Mutarim, and where it's possible that urine is nearby, um, is not prohibited. Ikad Amri, there are those who say, Rabbi, there are those who say, Ama Rav Yoda, Rav Yoda said, Safek so abavet, babait muteret, possible excrement in a house is not permit, prohibited. Be ashfa asura in a trash heap is prohibited. Safek me raglaim mafilu be ashfa nami mutarin, possible urine, even a trash heap, is not prohibited. Savala kihad Rav Hamnuna, Rav Yehuda holds like Rav Hamnuna. The Amar Rav Hamnuna, Rav Hamnuna said, Lasra Torah, the Torah did not prohibit Shema and Shema Nesre around urine. Ela Kenegad Amud Bilvad, except from, uh, from a stream of urine alone, meaning someone who's actually engaged in urinating. Vechi the Rabbi Yonatan is in accordance with Rabbi Yonatan. The Rabbi Yonatan Rame, for Rabbi Yonatan noted a contradiction. Ketiv, it is written. Vyat, uh, where is it written? It's written in um, Devarim 23, verse 13. Vyat yelecha shamachut. You shall have a place outside the camp, and to it you shall go out. You shall relieve yourself outside the camp. Uchtiv, and it's written. Viated tielecha vegomer, you shall have a shovel, etc. Vichisita etzeatecha, you shall cover your evacuations. Haketa, how is this? So, how do we reconcile the two verses? Kan big dolim. So, for here, the second verse is talking about excrement that must be covered over. Kan big tanaim, sorry, big tanim. And here in the first verse, it's talking about urine. That does not need to be covered outside the car, the camp. Alma, thus, Katanim lo asra Torah ela kenegadamud bilvad. The Torah did not prohibit um, being saying holy things around urine, except when 
uh, it's around someone who's engaged in urinating. Hana fula ara, but if urine has already fallen to the ground, shari, it is permitted to pray in its presence. Rabbanan hu de gazru bahu and it's a rabbis who decreed a prohibition against this. The chi gazru bahu rabbanan, and when the rabbis decree, when did the rabbis decree uh, this? Bevadaan in cases of certainty of urine being uh, in the area. Aval bis Fekan Logazor. However, in case of doubt uh, of of uh, urine being in the area, they did not decree. They did not make a decree of prohibition. O vedaan, and in case of certainty of urine's presence, ad kama. How long can urine be on the ground <coughs> and still continue to pray? Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel Rav Yehuda said in the name of of Shmuel. Cold man shemat fichin, as long as it is damp enough to moisten anything that touches it. Vechen amar rabba rabba barbar chana amar rabbi yochanan, and so said rabba barbar chana in the name of rabbi yochanan. Cold man shemat fichin, as long as it is uh, uh, able, uh, as long as it can moisten. Vechen amar ula cold man shemat fichin, and so said ula, as long as enough as it is enough. Uh, to moisten. Gniva Mishme de Rav Amar Gniva said in the name of Rav, calls man shirishuman nikar. So uh, if there's urine that is in trace amounts that you can actually see it, <coughs> uh, this prevents prayer, this is prohib- pro- prohibited. Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, Share le mare lig. Ligniva, may his master forgive Gniva. Hashta to Amar Rav Yehuda Amar Rav. Now, if excrement, um, regarding excrement, Rav Yehuda said in the name of Rav, Kevan Shekarmu Panea Mutar, once its surface has become crusted, one is permitted to pray nearby it. May Raglai Mi Baye, so can there be any question? That uh, if urine is uh, is not moist anymore, then surely it's permitted. Ama le abaye abaye said to Rabbi Yosef, "My chazit de samchat aha." What did you see that you rely on this? Um, that Rav said this. Smoch aha rely on uh, the following statement. De ama Rav Rabba bar Rav Huna ama Rav Rabba said the son of Rav Huna said in the name of Rav. So a afilu kecheres asura, excrement, even if it's brittle like ceramic, is prohibited. The hechi dami so a kecheres, and what is the case of excrement that is brittle like ceramic? Ama rabba bar chana, ama rabbi yochanan, rabba bar bar chana said in the name of rabbi yochanan. As long as one can throw it and it does not crumble. The Ika de Amre, there are those who say, As long as one can roll it and it does not crumble. Amaravina. Hava Kaimna Kame de Rav Yehuda Midifti. I was once standing before Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda from Difti, Chaza when he said when he saw excrement in the uh, around him. Amali Rav Yehuda said to me, Ayen i Karmu Paneha Ilo. See whether its surface is crusted. Ika de Amri Hachi Amale. There are those who say Rav Yehuda said to Ravina, Ayen i Mipla Mipla. Apluye, see whether the excrement has developed cracks. So if it's, uh, Rashi says if it has uh, developed cracks, so it's considered dry and you can pray in it's res- in around it. May have Allah, what is the, c- the conclusion of this? So when does both urine and uh, excrement lose their prohibitions? It's Mari it was stated, so our kecheres, excrement, uh, is like ceramic. Amema, Ama Asura, Amema said it is prohibited. Uh, 
and see Campanus present. Or Mazutra Amar Muteret. Mazutra said it is prohibited. Sorry, Mazutra said it is not prohib prohibited. Amar Rava Rava said, Hilchata, the law is, Toa Kecheres Asura, excrement like ceramic, is prohibited. Or Meraglaim and urine. Uh, urine is a prohibited, you're prohibited from prayer, calls man shumat pichin, as long as it is moist on the ground. Me tive, there's a, a challenge from this, from a baraisa, me raglaim, in regard to urine, calls man shumat pichin asurin, as long as it is moist, um, it is prohibited. Nivlau o yavshu mutarim, and once it is absorbed or evaporates, it is not prohibited. My love, nivlau dumya di yavshu. So, what are the circumstances? Is it not? Uh, is it not absorbed? Is uh, absorbed urine uh, just like evaporated urine? My yavshu to ein rishuman nikar. Just as evaporated urine, the Brasa talks about where its trace is not discernible. Af nivlau de ein rishuman nikar, so to absorbed urine is where it, uh, where its trace is not discernible, and in these cases, um, praying is permitted. Ha rishuman nikar asur, um, so therefore the uh, the urine's trace is discernible if it's discernible. Uh, you would be forbidden to pray. Af al gav de'ain mat pichin, even though it is not moist uh, to the touch. Ule tamech, but according to this reasoning, Eima uh, Reisha, consider the first part. Calls man she mat pichin hu asur is. Uh, as long as the urine is moist, then prayer is forbidden. Harishumani kashare. This is um, this uh, its trace is discernible. So where where uh, it is discernible, praying is permitted. You, um, as long as it's been absorbed or evaporated, even though you can still see it was there. Ela mehaleka lemishvamina. Rather, you cannot inf infer um, uh, whether this should be done, uh, whether Rava's ruling should be done from this Baraisa. Lema katane katanai, shall we say, like the Tane, uh, like a dispute from the Tanaim, Kli shenish pechu mimeno me raglaim, a vessel from which you're on the spilled. Asur likro kriyat shma kenegdo, one is forbidden to recite shma next to it, or me raglaim atzman shinish pecho, and urine itself that's spilled, nifle u mutar, if it is absorbed, one is permitted to pray near it, lo nifle u asur, and if it is not absorbed, one is forbidden to pray near it. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Rabbi Yossi says, calls man shumat pichin, as long as the urine is moist enough, so you are forbidden. My nivlau, my law nivlau de kamar tanakama. So what does it mean? It is absorbed and it is not absorbed, which the tanakama mentioned. Ilema nivlau de ein matpichin. If we say it is absorbed, uh, that the urine is no longer moist to the touch. Law nivlau de matpichin, um, and it is not absorbed. Sorry, so the first, so just to say that again, Ilema Nivla Uda Ain Matpichin. If we say it is absorbed and it is no longer moist to the touch, Lo Nivla Uda Matpichin and it is not absorbed means that it is not, um, that it is moist to the touch. The Atta Rabbi Yossi Lamema, Rabbi Yossi comes to say, Kozman Shematpichin Hu Da Asur. It is as long as the urine is um, moist to the touch that it is forbidden to pray. That's what Rabbi Yossi says. Ha rishuman nika shari, which is an implication if uh, the trace is discernible, one is allowed to pray near it. Hainu tanakama, tanakama, 
Reb Yossi's opinion is the same as the Tanakama. Ela nifla ein rishuman rather, uh, where it is absorbed uh, and its trace is not discernible. Lo nifla ote rishuman therefore it is not absorbed, means that you can still see parts of it. Ba'ata Rabbi Yose Lameimar and Rabbi Yossi comes to say, Kolzman Shemat Pichin Hud Asur. It is as long as the urine is moist to the touch that it is forbidden. Harishuman Nikashare implies if its trace is discernible, one is still permitted. Lo, no, this is not correct. Techule Alma Kolzman Shemat Pichin Hud Asur. Rather, for everybody, it is as long as the urine is moist to the touch that it is forbidden. And if its trace is discernible, one is permitted to pray there.